One other place I came across. Are you sure this is the place, Hubert? I am. Isn't this a little big for a treasury? Wait a minute. I thought you said you didn't know about this place, Hubert. I thought I didn't. But after coming here, I began to recall memories of it from my childhood. With Oswell? Yes, as I recall, he brought both Raymond and myself here. In hindsight, he was probably even planning something then. Well, yeah, isn't that obvious? What do you mean? Why, what was that? Damn. What is it, Hubert? I'm a fool, I can't believe I forgot. You're about to say something really bad, aren't you? The treasury is protected by a guardian monster. It's getting closer. Here it comes. Oh, that's one way you can reuse models. I'm not still on I'm not still on easy, am I? I don't think I am. I remember putting it back to hard. Not bad, don't you think? <laughs> I'll talk about your lame guardians. Now come on, let's go loot some treasure. I wonder if the treasury itself has some kind of historic value. Hmm, bet it does. Perhaps, but history is history. We need to focus on the here and now. You think so? I think history is an important part of this structure's value. Well, why don't we go see what's inside? Asbel, wait. Before we fought the monster, you said it was obvious why Oswell brought me here. What did it mean? Don't you get it? If I got it, I wouldn't be asking you to explain it. He brought you here because he had high hopes for you. Uh, me? My adopted father is a schemer and a liar. He's always been. Hey, you're the only one who just said that history is history. This is not the same thing. Sure it is. Look, even if Ospo is evil to the core, it's still a fact that he treated you well. That's ultimately what made you the man you are today. <laughs> you speak as if you were there. It's not tough, Hubert. I mean, if he didn't trust you, he wouldn't have chosen you over Raymond. <sighs> Perhaps it would have been better if he hadn't. The idea I was shaped by that man is... difficult. <laughs> well, I think you turned out alright in the end. Now, come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh, he was so sad back then. Why'd they even adopt him anyways? Yeah, he had kids. Maybe he wanted competition in his children? I don't know. Seems like the type of thing that guy would do, but... Who the hell knows? They haven't said. Oh, they're really good at charades. This is the family vault. Really? Yeah. I guess that did happen, didn't it? <sighs> I'm as naive as Asbel if this is all it takes for me to think fondly of that man. Scion of Oswell. Oh, goodness. I'm cut off from this side. What the hell, game? Sea blue vestment. Oh, give me more. Oh, cool. Sea blue statue. Huh. Okay. Well, request item is a request item. I guess I'll go find where to turn it in. But that was the Oswell Family Vault. That was... Um, enlightening. Um. Hey, dude. What's up? I wore this swimsuit so I could save people from drowning. But I can't even find someone choking like a glass of water. So here, you can take it. Malik's- oh. 
God. I'm equipping it. Oh no, I have to get the title first. <laughs> I forgot about that. His is the one I get. His, of all of them, is the one I get. I know I can get the other ones, but I didn't really care for the swimsuit so much that I'm going to actively go search for them. I can't honestly say I am disappointed, though. Hey, isn't that... Can I help you? Pardon me, but do you... Do your parents... Do your parents perchance hail from Barona? Yes, how do you know that? I found a picture of you there. Have you seen your parents recently? No. I went back once to see them, but another family was living in the house. And you've been here ever since and stuff. Don't suppose you know where they are now, eh? Even if I did, I have no desire to see them. Why not? Because they abandoned me. I'm sure they had a good reason to. Look, I don't need the sympathy of strangers. If I can ask, why haven't you tried to see them? Because... Because of pride. You miss them at first, but in time that pain turns to anger. Soon you feel as though you can never forgive them. Hubert. I'm sorry, do you always walk up to strangers and try to analyze them? Because it's starting to tick me off. I hardly think. Wait, please, don't, please don't fight. Hmm. That was unlike you, Hubert. As far as I know, your father put up a request in Sable Azul. He wanted someone to find you. My father is in Sable Azul? You hate him. You want to get back at him. You want to ask him why he did it. Um, can you just answer the question? But that only lasts as long as he's still around. Once he's gone, you finally understand how meaningless it all was. Okay, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking... I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm telling you to go to Sable Azul. Hubert? And I'll keep telling you until you get it through your thick skull. Go see your father. Go today, because once he's gone, be too damn late. Whoa. <laughs> bye. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. So, he's just venting. I I'm sorry. I was out of line. Oh, I don't know. I've seen worse. I think he got your point, at least. Oh, that's for sure. Oh, by all means, rub it in. <laughs> oh, my hello there. It's too bad about my mother. Still, I was able to talk with my father a little bit. I guess it was awkward, but I'm glad I did. I wouldn't have gone if it hadn't been for you, so here. I want you to have this. Fucking rod. Sturdy pole made with the latest technology. Give me so. Is that all? I hope I can turn. I hope I can get SP out of it at least. Yeah. Oh, both of these are here. Okay. Maybe after all this time, I'll finally be able to make use of these. Damn it! I can only take one. Oh, why? Hello there. What do you want? Wait, that you. Wait, is that? <laughs> so they brought in reinforcements, eh? Uh, who are you talking about? Are you referring to the soldiers in the woods? Why are they here in the first place? Ex-soldiers. They are soldiers of Windor no more. The pitiful fools threw their lots in with Cedric and now have nowhere to go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't this... And what of you? Aren't you in the same position as the other failures? Silence! How dare you lump me with those fools! And that's some ordinary commoner, you know. I hail from one of the most strategic families in all the land. Do you see this? It's the crest of Windor. Only the greatest of men may ever touch one of these. He speaks truth. 
That is definitely a crest of Windor. Asbel, I think I know him. You too, Sophie? I think he looks familiar. You guys know a lot of crazy people, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you say Aspel? <laughs> what in the... It's him! It's him! It's him! What's with this guy? The weapons look oddly familiar. I remember he attacked Richard in the middle cell. Oh! Uh, 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 but Bryce! What Bryce? Is that really you? <laughs> Spell Rot returns to me. <laughs> time to kill, time to die. <laughs> Ready yourselves. I don't know, is he strong? I hope he's as good as he was back then. Oh, does he have a Mystic Art? I'll let him I'll let him try. Oh. Oh, that groin shot. <laughs> I am the envy of all. I can't even bear the sight. I can agree with that, Hubert. <laughs> this is Bryce. Do you know him, Captain? He disappeared seven years ago. It was big news amongst the knights at the time. He was the first son of the prestiged family, and he used to sway and he used that sway to gain a position as a young prince's personal tutor. <laughs> they wait for me, even now. They prepare a feast at the castle, suckling pig. Um, uh, is he okay? What's that, King Bryce? You want to make me a duke? Oh, you are too kind. If I had to guess, I'd say he's been like this ever since we found him at the meadow. This isn't your fault, Aspel. He's the one who refuses to accept reality. And the only one who can choose to shoulder that responsibility once more. Uh, I guess... Crest. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, ooh, does Sophie get to use those? What's up, man? Come, come, my friend, come eat this pig. The juice runs down your chin. <laughs> you seem sane. Oh, good thing they're weaker than everything. Is this the long... Sought after treasure. Yes, it is, and I got an elixir. Happy freaking day. What do you want, traitor? It's a very rare ring you have there, Aspel. Richard gave it to me when we were kids. I suppose it's supposed to be proof of our friendship. It's a royal ring, so it's probably pretty valuable. Richard, King Richard's ring? Fascinating. May I see it? That's it. That's the key. That's the key of the sacred sword. The ring is the key. Are you sure? I'm sorry, I'm confused now. The ring is a key now? According to legend, there is a key in the shape of a ring that can unleash the power of the Eleth Sword. Without the key, the sword will never leave its sheath. As well, let me ask you something. Did Richard carry a sword that he kept in his sheath? No, I don't remember anything like that. When we were kids, he just carried around a small knife. The sword is passed down among royalty. With the situation as it is now, it's likely no one knows where it is. It's a shame, I would love to set my eyes upon the Alice Sword. A legendary sacred sword that can never be unsheathed. That reminds me of your early academy days. Your sword always looks so awkward on you. I was still a student myself in those days, but I remember you as a little brat who swung his sheath sword with total disregard for all around him. Uh, hey, come on. That was a long time ago. I barely remember. It's probably too much to ask that his old sword is actually the legendary sacred sword. <laughs> now that would be quite a story. Although, what happened to that sword anyways? Hmm. What the heck did I do with that old thing? Oh wait, I remember. I sold it for a turtles for a thousand gold so I could repay my tuition. What a waste. I was determined not to accept any help from my family. But I feel stupid about it now. I mean... That sword might have been my, a memento of my father. Huh. Hmm. Can I track this sword down? So he sold it... To, ooh, this is new. So he sold it to a turtle, so I figured there might be a chance something was here. 
Sometimes we get what you might call an extremely rare treasure here at Turtles Headquarters. But when that happens, we don't sell it to the public. Instead, we keep it nice and safe right here. Asbel, remember what you said about the sword you had as a child? It's tr if it's truly a memento of your father, you should see if they still have it. I don't know, Captain. It's been a long time, and I... I don't want to get my hopes up. Did you sell something to the turtles? Was it precious? It was a sword encased in a sheath. Could it be? Oh, you just wait right here. I think we'd have it. Really? Don't go us anywhere. Now, aren't you glad we asked? Although I'm surprised the turtles knew what you were talking about. That looks like it. Is this it? Yeah, that's my father's sword. It's just like I remembered it. We would very much like to have this sword. How much is it? I sold it for a thousand gold at the time. Well, as it turns out... Is there a problem? Well, we should have caused this earlier, but we found out something about his sword. See, it's actually dreaded and passed down through the Windsor's royal family, yeah? Are you saying we can't have it? No, it will sell it to you. In fact, had you asked me yesterday, I would get enough for 1,200 gold. Now that we know a little how valuable it is, we can ask for a little more. About a hundred times more. A hundred times? So you're going to charge us 120,000 gold. Hey, this prize comes from the big man in the HQ, yeah? It's out of my flippers. I tried to talk the boss down, but he wouldn't hear it. What do you want to do, Aspel? Well... I I have the money. I don't see why... I, I want it. I, I, what else am I going to spend the money on? Wonderful. It's a pleasure doing business with the ass. You must be happy to have this memento. So if you, uh, you must be happy to have this memento of your father back once more. I am. By the way, you might already know this, but apparently it's some kind of legendary sacred sword or something. Really? Are you absolutely certain? But you can't take it out of its sheath unless you have a key. Richard's ring! That ring? Impossible is! No, it's true. That ring is the key to the sword. So if I put the ring into the sheath... No way! I wonder if I can... It's rusted. It's completely rusted through. Well, I guess that's not totally surprising. I'm glad. I'm just glad we got it back. It was you. I asked around the window of our family, yeah? That man knows a way to restore the soul to its former glory. I can't ask Richard. Duke Dallin is a distant relative of the family. Perhaps he would have an idea. At the very least, he'd want to know we found it. I suppose if it originally belonged to the Winder family, we should let someone in Brona know. Awesome. Off to Burano! Hello, my friends. What can I do for you? Something we'd like to show you, Duke Dallin. Go on, Aspel. By the heavens! Do you know of this sword, sir? That's the sword King Ferdinand gave to Lord Aston 20 years ago. So it's come to you, eh, Aspel? Be sure to take good care of it. Actually, sir, that's not the whole story. While it's true the sword is a memento of my father, it also appears to be the legendary sacred sword. Legendary sacred sword? You mean the Ellis sword, Excalibur? Wait, Excalibur? I believe so, yes, but there is a problem. I thought it was the Ellis sword, not Excalibur. So the blade has rusted, eh? It seems even this sword cannot resist the march of time. Still, it would be a waste to leave it like this. Duke Dallin, we came here in hopes that you might know of a way to restore it. Supposedly, the sword was forged at the time of Windows' founding. But I'm afraid I don't know who made it or what process they used. If only the Amarsians truly existed, they might know how to restore it. The Amarsians? It is said that Windows' first king was a friend to the Amarsians. It's also said that it was he who wielded the sword. Espel, why don't we try showing the sword to the Overseer? She knows more of the world's history than anyone. You're right. She's probably our best hope. Let's head for the Amarsian Enclave. Uh, the Amarsian Enclave? Your knowledge continues to amaze me, Espel, aren't? Before you leave, I will tell you how Lord Aston was presented that... I will tell you how Lord Aston was presented with that sword. Oh? It was 20 years ago when Fando had just openly invaded Windows' rightful territory. At that time, you see, our territory ran all the way up to where Velenik is currently located. Anyway, King Ferdinand assembled the lords and began a counter-offensive. King Ferdinand himself came to, came to lead the men, and both my father and yours were by his side. However, Fendo had the advantage in both numbers and position, and soon Windows' army was beaten back to Lant. Dad served King Ferdinand? I didn't know that. 
He did more than serve. Along with my father, he saved the king's life more times than can be counted. In recognition of his service, my father, a distant relative of the royal family, was awarded, was awarded the title of Duke. And your father was presented with that sword. So that's how he got it. Then why did Richard have the key for this sheath? Legendary not. What good is a sword if you can't use it? Your father refused the ring. He felt that it was too much power to be given one man. However, he swore to retrieve the seal if the king or his people were ever in danger. Do you understand, Aspel? Do you see why he entrusted the seal to the king? The sword is a symbol. It's a way to protect both Lot and the royal family. If Dad was alive now, he would want to save Richard. And so do I. Well said. And as such, it is imperative that we restore the sword and rescue his highness. Heard of the Marcin Enclave, Aspel. Will do. Ooh. That is a cool sounding title. Oh, and it has this sacred. Oh, it says it has this Mystic Art level three. Oh, that's gonna be a satisfying one. Pardon me, Overseer, but there's something we need to see you for. The Overseer says you have brought something that she's not seen in a long time. She asks if it is truly Excalibur. It is, but as you can see, it is rusted through. Do you know if there's any way to repair it? She says she does. Then may we ask her assistance? The weapon will be a great help in the fight against Lambda. She says it is... She says... She says, and you must find the aggro iris. Unfortunately, we don't have it here. Does she know where we can find it? I'm sorry, but not even the over overseer herself has ever seen it. She doesn't know if it even exists in this world anymore. What if we go to Fodra? No, there's no hope of finding it in the world without Elif. Oh, for true? What is it? Apparently, the Argo Iris was formed when Lambda was storing up power. The Overseer says that you may be able to find it in somewhere near him. Somewhere near Lambda, eh? Alright, if we manage to find it, we'll bring it back here. If that happens, will you repair the sword for us? The Overseer agrees to your proposal. Oh. Okay, I wasn't... I didn't need to talk to both of you. Okay, so... So, it's in... The Shaft? The, or the place that was added that we need to go to advance the story. So I guess that's where I'm headed now. Sort of an interesting... Sort of ins This was probably the last quest I was going to do anyways. Clump of you have no idea, but there's demand for it. You can sell it for a lot of gold in comparison to everything else. Toxic flu, oh my goodness. <laughs>